Hi, so today we're going to learn how to blow out an egg, especially since it's Easter tomorrow. You'll need a hammer. I just happen to have a mallet on hand, so I'm using a mallet. It can be an old hammer. A screw, so something about that size is usually good. Um, a bowl, your eggs, and a couple of rags usually work good as cushion for the eggs. Um, I have a chicken egg, which is typically what I blow out, um, and I've blown out duck eggs before. This will be the first time I'm blowing out a goose egg, so you'll get to see if it works or not. Um, in fact, we'll start with that one. So what you do is you place the egg on the rag, so you have cushion, and then you want to go at the apex of the egg, you're going to put the screw. And you want to use a screw, not a nail, because the screw, the way it breaks the shell as it goes through, causes less cracking around the hole and it also provides a nice clean hole for the egg to come through so you want to tap tap the screw into the egg and then you kind of want to move the egg up and down in that hole to make it work and then you're going to flip it over and you're going to do the same thing to the other side you're going to tap it tap the screw through sure that hole is nice and clean. So you'll see I've got a hole on that side and a hole on that side. So now here's the hard part. You gotta blow really hard to get the egg out the little hole. Ooh, okay, here comes the oak. It's really hard to get the yolk out, and those geese yolk are huge. Woo! Okay, I'm almost there. I think. Geese egg are tough. There we go, I think. Nope. Woo! We got it, yes. Okay. Once you feel the air go through, then you know you've gotten the whole egg blown out. You'll feel it's nice and light. Now we'll do the duck egg. It's going to be very similar. It'll go much quicker than the, the goose egg. Holy cow. Feeling a little red in the face there. Okay, let's get that hole nice and clean. And the other side. Again, ooh, I'm going to emphasize the importance of using a screw versus a nail. You don't believe me? <laughs> Just try it. Okay, and you'll see the difference. So we got our clean holes on either end. We're, I usually grow up, blow into the apex of the egg, so the skinnier part of the egg, and let it come out the fatter part. Whew, see those smaller eggs? They blow out whew, much easier. So you can hear they're much lighter. Of course, much more bakeable too. And now we'll do the chicken egg. So then you've got to make a quiche or a batch of scrambled eggs <laughs> when you're done. But this is how, like usually on the upcoming, oh, see the chicken eggs are a little more fragile. It kind of broke a little bit in there. And that's, you'll get a lot of that if you use a nail. Um, Anyway, what I usually do in the coming weeks before Easter is I'll start blowing out everyone's breakfast eggs or when I make pancakes, I'll blow out the eggs and just save the shells for Easter as I go along. Um, but we're just doing some sample ones for now. That chicken egg blew out really easy. So, and you'll have to do something scrambled because as you can see, it's definitely scrambled eggs. And there you go, you got three blown out eggs.
Thanks for joining us.